Howdy y'all, it's your host Ro. We're continuing our Life is Strange 2 journey. Uh, Daniel just blew up Meryl's nice. house. So let's figure out what we get Trust. into. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Share that video. And we'll figure out what's going on here. This time. We got a lot of room in jail for cop murderers like you. You're alone now. Alone. At no point has Sean murdered a cop. Cut that forward. Daniel has. He's murdered probably two. And Meryl. But we're on a whole new episode. This one's Sacred Hope. Episode 4 of Life is Strange 2. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. We're going to hop right in. See what we get into. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. The one thing I don't like about this is Sean knows what happened. Until hunters took their dad away. He acts like he doesn't know that Daniel had that power right then. He knew it because he saw it happen. Run. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick and they had to move on. The brothers made it to the home of their ancestors and the old wolves took care of them. Unfortunately, the hunters were hot on their trail and found them. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south. They soon entered the old forest of the giants, where they met a pack of stray dogs who worked in a secret farm. The brothers joined them and worked hard to stock up on gold for the future. They were happy to find others like them, and everybody loved the little wolf, who was growing up fast. His power was growing too. The little wolf was more and more confident and independent. Oh yeah, you kind of shoot Daniel away. The big brother loved having a new pack to prowl around with. He felt free for the first time. Suddenly, the mean farmers who owned the land tried to hurt the brothers. The little cub was injured. He transformed into a super wolf and destroyed everything. The big brother was badly wounded and worse. He didn't know where the little cub was. So Daniel just walked away then. That's what I got out of that. Which is crazy to me. That means he abandoned his brother and Finn. I'm curious what happened with all the people at the camp. Oh, he didn't run away. He's right there. Hey, Sean. I'm sorry. 
I didn't mean to. It was a bad idea. Daniel. No way. It's all good. Wish we didn't go along with Finn, even though I wanted to. <sighs> it's okay, dude. You're my brother. And that's all that counts. So, why don't you come and get me? Oh, this is all in his head. I'm alone, Sean. I don't know what to do. I'm scared. Don't get so close to that edge. Please, come and get me. Yes, I, I swear. Uh, stop! A hospital in Northern California two months after the blast at Merrill's. They shaved your head. Fuck. Yay. Stupid reality shows. This must be my punishment. Ugh, can't even focus on the page. Date, sucks ass, man. March 26, 2012, I guess. It, it's either 2022 or 2012. Was in a coma for weeks, blinded, and fucked, and in police custody, going to jail, seems hospitals freak me out. I hate this. Where's Daniel? I'm scared. March 30th, 2017. Try to dream to kill time. This poem is like a cage. But I suck now. No depth perception. No captain. No shit. Fawning equals immediate migraine. Oh, yawning. Going crazy in here. Woke up crying. Special secret agent Flores. She's trying to bond with me. Trap me or trust me, so fucked. Cops still can't find Dana after the explosion, so here he's out there alone. March, no, April. April Emp, 2017. Happy birthday, day. Daniel, wherever you are. Terrence Stevens sent me a nice letter. Fell only, I read it twice. Weird how I missed them. So cool to hear from Captain Spirit, too. Glad he's doing fine. My Joey sketch doesn't look bad, so glad he's around. Who's Joey? April 25th, 2017. I fucked Daniel up. I let Finn become his brother. Oh. 2017. Okay. Man. I'm trying to read their horrible cursive. Oh, you only have one eye now. Well, that's you, your drawing. So hard to focus. Gotta practice way more. Not giving up. I guess that's an okay start. But I can keep going. Yeah, you can't even make out what you... Drew, you still can barely make it out. Draw prison bars. So you should have came forward immediately. You should never have ran, because then they could have actually helped you. But now you look guilty. This room feels like a prison. But I'd rather stay here than go to Jolina's shore.
can't catch shit. <sighs> Zero depth perception. Goodbye, sports. Yeah. Thanks for the card, Agent. Can't wait to text you. Maria Flores. Yeah. Thanks for the card. Five, five, five. Can't wait to text you. Yeah, see letter. I'm glad the cops didn't mess with them too. I really hope they could keep going. Hold on, Sean. The cops and doctors won't tell me anything about what's going on with you and Finn, except that you were injured and in police custody. That's how I got the hospital name. They interviewed and interrogated me, Hannah, and Penny. Let us go. Both of you weren't so lucky, I guess, or maybe you earned it. I hope you're okay after what happened. Probably know more about what's going on than me, but Hannah and Penny and I were released without charges. Police were stoked to bust a farm of drug traffickers rather than us poor gutter punks trolling in the field. We asked about you and Daniel, no answer, surprise. So Finn and you gone, our rail family's kind of broken up. Now we're just a lonely trio, train hopping up and down the state, but it feels like we're going in a loop, nowhere. Hannah and Penny aren't the same, and we fight too much. It's not even like we're going to be together for much longer. It changes, right? I know you're going to trial soon over the Seattle situation, and hope you'll get some form of justice. I hope you and Daniel find your way home soon. Cassidy. I guess whatever this all button is. I'm supposed to call the nurse when I'm done eating. Uh, you have a new name. Done. So Joey's your nurse. Oh, there's other letters. Glad Stephen's leg is better. You read Must that. Be tough on Claire. Sean, we are grateful to find out that you're safe and awake. The police contacted us and said you were found unconscious in Humboldt County. We weren't allowed to visit you in the hospital, but we want you to recover ASAP. The doctors say you woke up from a coma stronger than before. The most important thing now is to find Daniel. We are helping the police any way we can. They really want us to help find him, too. Sean, hopefully this reflects well during your trial. We know it must be hard after everything you and your brother have been through. You're both in our thoughts and prayers every day and night. Remember your... You are a family. We love you. We hope to visit you and Jolena Shore as soon as we can. Claire and Stephen. P.S. Chris insisted to write a note. It's attached a letter. P.P.S. He doesn't know Daniel is missing. Don't know if we'll ever come back, Chris. Hmm. Miss that little superhero. Hi, Sean and Daniel. Hope you're okay. I'm fine, but I miss you both a lot. When are you coming back? Dad's been better lately. Says hello, and we're fishing now, but the summer is here. We do a lot of stuff outside now. All the snow is gone. You should come back to see Beaver Creek without the snow. I'll be waiting for you, Chris and Captain Spirit. Yes, we need to save Beaver Creek from the swamp bugs. Let's see anything else to do. Like, legitly, I have not seen... This day feels like... Every other day. <laughs> Good day, sunshine. Hey, Joey. Hey, man. That looks like it might have been food. Hard to tell. Ha ha. Never heard that before. Oh, somebody is in a bad mood. Sorry, Joey. Not feeling it today. Mm, I don't blame you. But maybe I got something to cheer you up. Pecans and chocolate? Uh-oh. There's that smile. <sighs> Thanks, Joey. So how you feeling today? Any headaches? Socket pain? <sighs> no. It's all good. Well, this is your final test before... Mm, you know. Before they check you out. Check me out to Julie. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, let's see. You know the drill. Don't blink and just stare at the light. Mm. 
Yes. Nice retina response. Okay. Now, try to follow the light as well as you can. Follow the light by moving your head with. Come on, Sean. You've been there before. Good, good. Keep going. Quick response. Nice. Remember, to see objects on your left side, you got to turn your head more now. Yes. Looking good, Sean. Now try to align your pen with mine. I'll try. No rush. Oh, this is right. All right to like your view and... Your depth perception will always be affected. So you got to try harder. Oh, shit. Yeah, I know. It's hard. I don't get the oh, controls. Unlocked President see if your pin is aligned. I don't know. Yeah, that's enough. Too much stress on you and your eye. But remember, your depth perception will always be affected. Hmm. Here, read this. Patient cleared. I'm a pirate without a patch. Arr. I'd be more worried if you weren't such a smart ass. You can try, but you can't rig the exam, Sean. <sighs> it's time we release you. Sorry. Your vision has improved a lot. Now, you don't really have severe side effects anymore. Yeah. That's just great. I do have to tell them the truth. But first, let's clean this dressing. Hey. Sure hope you're watching the door like your phone. Oh, come on. We <sighs> ain't going nowhere. Great. All I do is watch them. Yes, true. Your job. Do you mind if we talk alone? Mind if I finish with my patient? He looks good for now, right? Just come back when I'm finished with him. Sure. I'll swing by later, Sean. Stay cool. So, how are you feeling today, Mr. Diaz? Amazing. Did you find Daniel? I want to go over this again. <sighs> what? I've been telling the same fucking story for three weeks. How much longer? Until it makes sense. Until you get it right. So, silence isn't gonna help you now. Listen close, Sean. Tomorrow you're going to Jolina Shore and you'll be arraigned in court for the murder of a Seattle police officer. There's no way he could have killed the cop. the rest of your life in prison or you can talk to me. I didn't kill anyone. The end. So... Who did? You do know. It's just... I can't. Was Daniel involved? Is that why you can't talk? No! No way! And you're absolutely sure your dad didn't go after the officer? Yeah! He came outside, then he was killed. That's what he did. Just guilty of being... Who knows? Mexican? I hear you, but... You're sure you didn't get upset and go after the officer? There's no way. Jesus, no. Look the cop should have had a, a body okay, cam. Let's just jump ahead. No matter what, that's been around for Tell a long me time. Tell what happened in that farm in Humboldt. The place looks like a tornado wiped it out. And Daniel Don't wouldn't even so get in trouble. Times. I have no clue why the place was trashed. I passed out. Plus two seriously wounded, along with you. And a missing child. The only statement we have is yours. What happened to Finn? Sean. Throw me a bone here. Can't you see I want to help? So you haven't found my brother? We might have some leads. You can help by telling me the truth. 
He has been. Fuck. Besides not saying Daniel did it. Whose idea was it? His? Or yours? Huh? Finn. It was his idea to rip off Marrow. Did he force you to help? Or did you go along with it? He lied to us. Made it seem like no big deal. I swear. So I don't like either one of those did answers. Did anything like this was going to happen? Nobody does, Sean. Until it's too late. Yeah. Now I know. Your friend is learning the hard way. Didn't want this, don't lecture me. I learned too. I learned too. Lost my eye, my brother, everything. Thank you for your statement, Sean. It's really helping. By the way, we contacted your grandparents in Beaver Creek. They can visit you after you're transferred. Might be a while, but you do have a support group. We couldn't track down your mother, though. Sorry. Good. What about Daniel? You said you had leads. I said might. Uh, hold on. I gotta take this call. Is he back in jail now? At least Cassidy wasn't at Merrill's when it blew up. Yeah, that would have been bad. Her name was Lucy Rose Jones. Wonder what Merrill told the cops about the robbery. No, Jonathan Merrill. Sorry, Hannah. Hannah, oh, she lost her family for this. Hope the cops didn't mess with Penny. Baptist Dean McKell. would fuck him up. Can't do anything? Everything okay? Well, she said enough, then enough. She knew the rules, Sean. Is he back in jail? No, Sean. Hope the cops didn't mess with Penny. Prison would fuck him up. We gotta be good. Okay. Bonella, will you down the phone, please? I see nothing else to look at, so I guess we're supposed to eavesdrop. I can't make out what she's saying. It's in Spanish. Is he back in jail now? At least... Hope the cops didn't mess with Penny. Prison would fuck him. Is he back in jail now? <sighs> fuck. What were we thinking? That time. Okay. Family can wait, detective. So what's going on with Daniel? You really have leads? Yes, we do. That's our job. The Bureau put his profile out over four states. So we are on the case. For how long? It's been over two months. How are you going to find him? We have a lot of people looking for your brother. Trust me. We want to find him too. Yeah, yeah. So you can lock him up too, right? Whatever. Anyway. Thanks for talking to me. I'll be back tomorrow to take you to Jolina Shore. Ah, oh, she's kind of a bitch. Can I actually walk around for a moment? Look out. I have to guard the guard now. <laughs> Love it. Sit down so we can get this show going. So, how did your interview with Scully go? 
interrogation. You mean interrogation? Who knows? Maybe Detective Flores wants to help. Maybe not. I just can't trust her. After what you and your brother went through, I don't blame you. Oh, this shit is all wrong, man. You've been out of the garden for three weeks now. We talk every day. I can see that you're a good person. You are a good person. Thanks, Joey. Want to tell that to the judges? I'm just saying, you don't deserve this. Now let's check this out. The healing is coming along nice. Let's see. Just got to keep it clean for the next week or so. Simple. That's great. Seen the shrink this morning? What did she say? Nothing I want to hear. This will take time and rehab, Sean. You have to process first. Ugh. I can tell myself that shit. Clearly, I'm no therapist, but I've nursed patients with your injury. They all turned their anger into energy. You will too. <laughs> Plus, the glass eye tech is pretty cool now. <laughs> Things change, huh? Go down to so positive. I'm trying to be positive. You need to be. But it's so hard. I know. I do. But I promise there's a treat coming your way. Now as for your wound, this is the last time you hear this from me. You have to clean it with sterile gauze and saline solution. Coat the area using the swab and cream. Then wrap it up with clean dressing. And you're the shit. Remember, you gotta do this. Four times a day. I won't forget. I'm sorry about everything, Sean. Wish I could have done more. Dude, you saved my ass here. You're the only one I trust. It really helped. Cool. I'm glad when I can make a ch... Oh, shit. Ah, emergency. I'm out. And no smoke break. Let's say our goodbye tomorrow. Oh, Sean, check out that towel. Got your name all over it. We... He gave Actually, us a towel. Joey, you are. Joey's the only one who helped me get through this shit. Now take your pen. Yeah, thanks for the card, Agent. What? Wow. I haven't seen you in a long time. Nice. He got his book back. <sighs> I know I fucked Daniel over. Again. And now he's gone. Where would he hide out? A ten-year-old by himself? Out there? He might go back to Seattle. But too far. Yeah, you're blurring a little bit. Nowhere to go. There you go. If he tried to hook up with Claire and Steven, they would have definitely told me. Or the cops. They're only keeping an eye within four states. Wait. So it'd be Washington, Oregon, California, and probably Nevada. Super wolf. Huh? Does that mean... It means that Daniel... Daniel's with Jacob somewhere? 
He's safe. Good. I could see him again. <sighs> Had a few beers. Dana's asleep. Same night every night. He wants to train more, but we don't have time. Gotta hide. Maybe. Sean, I borrowed a blanket and a few other things from your tent. I'll give them back to you when you come looking for the Super Wolf comic. It's waiting for you, Jake. Agent 420, Gimme Hot Dogs, Cassie the Wild versus Hannah the Wise. Two, can't read what it says. Two Stony, Story Horseshit, Akira is freaking me out. Fresh night, everyone's scared of the worst memory. Everyone felt like shit. What a wonderful world. Got a new haircut tonight. Feeling like a different person. I like it. Is there anything Fan can't do? A fucking Lou. I'm a super well. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Daniel messed up again. Gotta fix the shit. So tired of running away. Back out. I don't want to look at this anymore. Haven Point, Nevada. Uh, got new coworkers, Andrews and Ingrid. Ingrid, couple makers, or C. Jake kept coming from Haven Point, Nevada. I gotta get to him. I gotta find a way to escape tonight. Well. I feel like there's more we should have done. Okay. Time to clear off now. This whole hospital is so quiet. So don't make any noise. Find a way to get the hell out of here. What are no. you doing? I didn't say to look underneath the bed. I was trying to examine the call button. Joey could probably distract the guard dog. Maybe I could uh, rig a decoy Sean in the bed. Yeah. Thanks for the card, Agent. Can't wait to text you. <sighs> Need a superhero to open that shit. Hope my last view of this world isn't this window. One stupid car. There's three cars. Four cars. It's dead tonight. Works for me. I could climb down the side of the building. Or die trying. Uh, I don't want to call Joey unless I have to. I should close these. So nobody sees me sleepwalking away. Let's see. I just gotta get past that locked door and an angry guard. <sighs> Wish I could just walk out. I'm pretty sure the scaffolding leads into this room. My backpack has gotta be somewhere around here. Sweet dreams, my friend. Maybe I can trick him. <sighs> Say I need an aspirin or something. Uh. Hey, sir. Hello. Jesus, can you take a nap? Okay. What's wrong now? Head hurts. I need aspirin. That's a sad story, but I'm not a pharmacy, kid. A dick. I could trick him into coming in here and then knock him out. Yeah, I totally don't think that'll go well. 
hundred fold. Like that is a stupid idea. Can I have some privacy, please? I can't even believe he said that. Can't open that window with my bare hands. Those things you just uh, open up. It's not hard. There's nothing there. Maybe I could uh, rig a decoy Sean in the bed. I don't think that's even worth doing. That looks so fake. But it might work for a second. Anything in the bathroom I could do? Oh, you shouldn't press down on it. Oh, that looks horrible. Man. Grab bar, grab bar. Yeah, that metal bar isn't going anywhere. This one isn't screwed in. Let's do it. you doing in there taking a shit maybe I could get Joey to help me would he get busted Break safe safety. I don't feel like calling Joey would be the best answer. But I don't think that there's any way of breaking this quietly. Call Joey. He may be a bro. Maybe I should have waited to put the body in the bed. I do not at all think ambushing the guard will work out. Uh, hold on. You can't go in there. When the patient calls, I have to respond. Like, now. Oh, that little trying to pull some shit not on my watch <laughs> well this is my watch so excuse me i'm going in <sighs> great i need a smoke break hey that's your job go for it hey there's my second favorite patient <laughs> gotcha you never stop working joey i'm doing a double night shift diane's Dang. out with a flu so lucky me yeah, I'm fried, but that sweet, sweet overtime. Sean, you look stressed. You feeling okay? Yeah, I know where my brother is. What? How? I found a note in the sketchbook you brought me. He's in Nevada with um a friend of ours. Fuck, Sean. That's awesome. Now that's good news. It is good news. Nevada sucks, but at least the kid is safe. Listen, Joey. I need to get out of here. What? Come on, Sean. You know I can't let you do that. You know I'm on your side, man. Now, I don't blame you for being scared. You're leaving tomorrow. But don't fuck around with this. You hear me?
But I'm innocent. You know I am. You even told me. I said you're a good kid. But it doesn't matter what I think about you. I'm not the police. Is that the judge and jury? I hope you break out of here. So what happens to me? I lose my job, go to jail. I have a girlfriend, a rent to pay, a future. Sorry. I'm sorry, Joey. I was... I was being selfish. I just... I want to help my brother. It's all I can think about. He's ten years old. And out there, all alone. He needs his big brother. Sean, I wish I could help you. I swear, but I can't do this. Joey, please. Look, it's not fair to ask me to give up my job and my life. It's not. To maybe possibly help you escape? I know. I'm just... The guard should be hearing this. Desperate. Let's forget it. Unless he did go for a okay. smoke break. I'll do anything else I can to help. Now, I really gotta get back to my shift. I'm tired already. Don't attack Joey. Don't attack Joey. Attacking Joey is not going to work out for you. Oh, I don't even like that that was an option. You have a good night. Yeah, I didn't think calling him would have been good. Yeah. Thanks for the card, Agent. Can't wait to text you. Dude, I don't think there's any quiet way of doing this. It's gonna be loud. Oh, not when that loud. I feel like we shouldn't even call Joey. We literally just told him where we're going to. Can we see any more since we got it open? No. This is crazy, dude. Don't freak out. You have no depth Just perception. Get out. Go back inside. No. Let's see. We got Cassidy, Chris, grandparents. Got a pen. We don't have a bag, which I don't like that we don't have our bag. I don't think in any world attacking Joey or the guard would work out for us. Like we'd end up getting Don't shot by the think. guard. Just in both cases. Keep going. Holy shit. Oh. Take a breath, dude. You need to start working your way down and try not to be seen. Time to get my shit from the staff room. I 
Okay, the guard is sleeping. This is your big chance, dude. Can we not control it? Oh, we're watching. Hey, at least we got our stuff. Dude, you should be belly crawling. That's... That's Finn. No way. What is he doing here? He got hurt too. Finn. Finn. Hey, over here. Holy fucking shit. No way. Sean, what the hell are you doing here? I'm trying to bail. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I wish I knew you were here. Could have hooked up. Shit. So, where's Daniel? Can't tell in Nevada. What Just learned that he's in Nevada. What the fuck? Why Nevada? I'm on my way to find out, man. Yes, you will, my friend. Damn, I wish I could help you. But I won't get too far. But hey. I brought this on myself. So, stupid question, but how are you doing? Well, you know, <laughs> kind of sucks. No coconut drinks here. So, how bad is it? Your eye. Let's go. I still got one left. John. I know this doesn't mean shit to you now, but I am sorry. <sighs> About everything. I don't blame you, Finn. You tried something. Even if it ended up being a mistake. I'll just... have to make things right for good now. You're the man, Sean. <laughs> I'm really gonna miss you. Much love and respect. Always. I gotta go now. Take care, Finn. You're gonna find him, Sean. I trust you. So you should trust yourself, too. Feel bad that we blamed him, but it was his idea. You know how to hot wire vehicles? Why just be Joey's car? I'd feel bad if it was. Dude, you drive like a bat of hell, you're immediately bringing attention to yourself. Doesn't matter if it's out of the hospital or what, you do not drive like that unless you have everyone looking.
Dude, you should pull off somewhere and get a nap if you're nodding off. Last thing you need is a car accident. I'll have to bear. It is Joey's car right now. The hospital, it's the night shift. There are only four cars. It's Joey, the guard, or receptionist, or another nurse. You're driving pretty good with no depth perception. But hey, we made our escape and we didn't hurt Joey. Attacking the guard, I 110% think would have been a bad idea. Talk about waking up handcuffed to the freaking bed. Uh, I made the drive to Nevada a few times. Until you actually get to the city, it's just so much a desert. Just like that, desert billboards. You're gonna end up running out of gas. I'm real curious how he got his backpack though. Because he was found in Merrill's house. His bag would have been back at camp with Cassidy and them. Even if the police were going to take it as evidence, they would have took it and put it in an evidence locker, they wouldn't have brought it to the hospital because it wasn't with his person. Guess this is my room for the night. Oh, come on. Did you interview everyone in that hospital? Or what? Fuck. My I eyes itchy. She seems nice. Sorry. Shit. Guess I fucked up her day pretty bad. So was the receptionist. Guess I'm kind of lucky I stole a smoker's car. <sighs> what a mess. <sighs> Pelotis can now add Grand Theft Auto to my file. Shit. I will never hold until Haven Point. No, and you don't want to be stuck in the desert. Honestly, turn out the light. Actually, that's before we do that. Owner stuff, map. Okay. Haven Point is straight ahead. Where are you? Just a few more hours drive. You don't got a few hours.
look at it, clean eye. I don't even know how long I should keep on using this for. All right. Careful. Oh. Ah, man. I should have listened to Joey. This is a mess. All right. Fuel wire, cigarette. Yeah, we're, we're probably going to call it there. We'll turn out the light and get some sleep. So uh, please uh, like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Tell me what you think in the comment section. Tell me if you think we should attack the guard or attack Joey. I don't think it was. I think in both cases we would end up either shot or handcuffed to the bed. But that is one way we could have played it. I thought sneaking out the window was the best way. I did tell both Joey and Finn that I'm going to Nevada for Daniel. The, both of them know where we're going. But I'm curious what y'all think. Please tell me in the comment section. And we're going to finish this out here. And we'll start another episode. So uh, have a good day. See you guys later.